As we have seen from the previous activity, it is easy to be convinced by arguments that are not based on substantiated evidence. Let's unpack the thinking process that we should undertake. Step one, find a point of contention and ask a question. So for this example, the point of contention would be bottled water is better than tap water. And the question that we should ask is, in what way is bottled water better than tap water? Step two, propose a hypothesis to the question. For this example, my hypothesis will be that, based on water quality, bottled water is the same as tap water. Notice that I've narrowed down to a specific criterion by which I will be evaluating the claim. This smaller scope makes it easier to complete the next step and makes the evaluation more targeted. Step three, seek out evidence to determine if the hypothesis is plausible or not. So for this example, we begin our search for evidence with CHOICE, a leading consumer advocacy group in Australia. CHOICE is an independent and member-funded organisation. They've been around for more than 50 years and have a proven track record of testing products and giving unbiased advice about food, finance and health. This makes them the first port of call of our investigation. In the article titled Bottle vs Tap, written by Ellie Stelly, she states the treatment of tap water has to follow strict guidelines. The water from your tap starts its journey from catchment zones, dams, rivers, and even the ocean before flowing through filtration plants designed to remove contaminants and bring water in line with the Australian Drinking Water Guidelines. Set by the National Health and Medical Research Council, these guidelines define safe, good quality water and how it is achieved and assured. This means that tap water in Australia is very safe to drink. The article does acknowledge, however, that tap water may contain fluoride. The Australasian Bottled Water Institute acknowledges that some people would choose bottled water over tap as a means of avoiding chemicals such as fluoride. This particular addition, some have claimed, may cause nasty side effects when ingested. However, the Australian Dental Association recommends tap water as the primary choice of drink for everyone because it is free of sugar and acid, and if it contains fluoride, the risk of tooth decay is reduced. The World Health Organization also holds the view that dental cavities can be prevented by maintaining a constant low level of fluoride in the mouth. With bottled water often costing more than soft drink and petrol, and with very little difference between bottle and tap water quality, it would be safe to conclude that tap water is the better option. Cheers.